Noah. Yes, Chef. Who from your winning team will face elimination? As a team captain, if I were lost, I'd fall on the sword right now. But I believe Suba was hurting us immensely. I don't think that's fair. Well, blue team, everyone except for Suba, please head up to the balcony. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Good luck, Suba. Good luck, Suba. That's crazy. Red team and Suba, put on your black aprons. Let's go. I feel awful I'm going into another elimination challenge because I actually contributed to the winning thing. Noah's very uh, threatened by me, and now I have to fight my way back. Tonight, it's all about what's under here. It's actually been cooked on MasterChef more times than anything else. It's the most delicious, most spectacular chicken. An absolute stunning protein. In fact, the chef's dream. I'm going home tonight. I am so happy. My husband loves chicken. I cook chicken sometimes twice a day. So I'm feeling very confident. Now, to be a true master chef, you have to be able to take a stunning bird like this and break it down into all its delicious parts. Yep. It's so easy, honestly. For me, I could do it with my eyes closed. Really, Gordon? Yeah. All right, well. Here's the deal. Go on. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Put that on for size, my friend. Lord have mercy. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. He's actually going to cut up this chicken with a blindfold? Wow. <laughs> two drums, two thighs, two wings, two breasts, one carcass. You watching up there? Yes, yes chef. chef. Lift up the knife, pierce back the skin, and literally slice through. Pull back, pop out that joint. Come round, slice off. Again, pierce, pull back, pop out. Slice down. From there, feel where the knuckle is. Off. One thigh, one drum. Now for the exciting part, chicken wing. Oh. Cut through the wing. Snap off. Unreal. Snap off. Back to the main part of the bird. Fill the breastbone down the middle. <laughs> Come through the wishbone. And let the knife do the work. Breast on. Peel back that skin. Very carefully fill the knife. In. Through. Down. Incredible. Pull back the fillet. And off. One carcass. Two drums, two thighs, two wings, two breasts. Done. Well done. Well done. Easy. Zorro Ramsey. I hope all of you are ready to follow Chef Gordon's lead. Please head to your stations. As a vegetarian, I've never broken down a chicken in my life. So I'm really freaking out that I may not get the chicken exactly how Gordon wants it. OK, guys, if you are able to wow us today, you'll join the blue team on the balcony and save yourselves from elimination. Please open up your drawers and put on your blindfolds. This can't be real. Holy. What? That is insane. Is this really happening? Medics! Medics! Just stand on this side, At please. At least three medics. We have to do this blindfolded like holy crap balls. You can take your glasses off, Suva, because yeah, you're not yeah, going to need gonna it, buddy. Need I can try. I uh, might not have any phalanges, but I can try it. Your five minutes oh my God. start now. OK, you guys, take your time. Focus. Come on, guys. Be careful. Stop, 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 stop. We're kidding. <laughs> really? Thank you, medics. <laughs> <laughs> thank God, thank God, thank God. <sighs> right, everybody ready to break down your chickens? 
Sure. It's time for real. Your five minutes start now. Let's go. Let's go, let's go guys. Go, let's, let's go, go. guys. Let's focus. Precision, Lisa. Precision. Being able to break down a chicken is something that every home cook learns. It's a fundamental of cuisine. Gross. For me, it's a great way to identify the sort of basic technical skills. And it's not just about knife skills. So you have to know where the joints are, where the give points are, because you have to use the anatomy of the chicken to help you break it down. Exactly that. Yeah. One minute gone, guys. Four minutes to go. Sarah's nervous. She's shaking. I know. Come on, Sarah. You got this. You got this. Oh, yes. I have broken down a cooked chicken, but I'm no expert at butchering, so I'm so relieved that I don't have to do it. Suba's got both the fast. wings and the legs off already very fast. Yeah. It's redemption time. I'm going to get back on the balcony. Guys, we're coming up now. Just two and a half minutes to go. Halfway. Oh, Let's go, Micah. Okay. Suba's done. First one job. finished. Wow. I feel good about this one because every part looks good. I even completed the task well ahead. So I'm confident that I'm going to get upstairs. 90 seconds to go, guys. You should be on the breast. Micah, let the knife do the work. Let's go, Kimberly. Breast. A lot of home cooks, I think, probably when they do this the first time, they leave lots of breast meat on the breastplate. Biggest mistake. How do you eliminate that? So you find that center backbone, and you run your knife in a way that you don't leave any flesh on that carcass. I can't get the second breast off. That second breast is the half spit, because there's no leverage anywhere. So yeah. you've got to be super careful. We're down to 30 seconds to go. Come on, put your chicken pieces on display. Not today. I ain't going home today. Looking good, Jamie. Let's go, guys. 10, 9, Nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5 4, 3, 3 2, 2, 1. Beautiful. Great job, guys. Proud of y'all. OK, now it's time to take a much closer look and to see how well you've done. If you are able to wow us today, three of you will be joining the blue team up in the balcony, safe from elimination. But it was a bit of I grew up with my grandparents owning a farm. They would butcher their own chicken. And it's hitting me really hard at this moment. I'm just thinking, why did I not listen to my grandma more? Woods, have you ever Done uh, chicken like this before? Never. All right, let's see how you did. I think I left some meat on it. Yeah, you left a little bit of meat on here. It's heavy. Wow. These are sloppy. But well, they're flat, aren't they? Mangled. Not quite the plumpness that we want in a chicken breast. Yeah. <sighs> Jamie, how do you feel if you did? I wish my skin was a little bit cleaner on the chicken breast, but the thighs and the legs, I feel good about. I think you're being a little bit too critical. I think you did a fantastic job. You left a really great amount of skin on there. I love that. You made some really clean cuts. Thank you, Chef. What a boy, Jamie. Dorian. Well, that's a skinny carcass, huh? Yes, it is. Nothing left. Very little. But that's the best. You've part done of this chicken. before. Yeah, I have. Plenty of times. The question, Dorian, is it good enough to get you upstairs? Yes. We'll see. Michael, let me say, you do have that beautiful robustness with the breast, and you, you were able to leave a lot of the skin intact. Kimberly. There's a lot of weight on that. Yeah. It's a lot of weight. This is so stressful right now. The judges are being very critical of everyone's chickens. Sherry, slight issue there. You know, I think I just got a little bit too much of the thigh left on the carcass. Yeah. Uh, it's proportion. It's half the size, as you can see. I have to redeem myself in this. So I made sure every cut was the best that I could do. You've got yeah. another half an inch at the bottom. And that's why when you pop out mm. that bone, it opens up for the knife to come down in here. It's a shame. I'm getting kind of worried. My confidence level is kind of going. <laughs> Micah is the issue here. Mm. Mm. It's like the three breasted chicken. There's a third portion on there. Did you wear the blindfold? No, chef. I think my chicken looks good. But we shall see what the judges will say. Ugh. Renee, how do you feel you did? I give myself a 90. A 90? 
That's like an A minus. I'm my worst critic. This is the actual spine of the chicken right there. And this is no. the ass of the chicken right here. So you're still thinking 90? An 80 or a D, a 60. So the weight inside that. Renee, I appreciate how much you think of your ability, but you left a lot here. Thanks. Um, first of all, Suba, I mean, you did it in three minutes. It wasn't the fastest. We're looking for the most accurate. Yes, Chef. Have you been accurate? I believe so, Chef. Right. Well, let's talk about the chicken. Thighs, nicely done. Wings, good job on that. The issue I've got, this bit here, it's like a, another portion. What happened there? I went too fast, perhaps. Look how much you left down there. Look, you can invite another family member to dinner. Mm. Agreed, Chef. Had you paced yourself, it could have been perfect. Right, thank you. Precision is not about time, it's about accuracy. Tonight's task was to perfectly break down an amazing chicken. As a job, I could do it with my eyes closed. Some of you didn't even do it properly with your eyes open. But for those few that did excel, tonight, you are worthy of immunity. Now, when I call your name, please make your way to the balcony. Jamie. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Michael, congratulations. Dorian, head upstairs. I'm so proud of my chicken carcass. I got my white apron back, and I got to show the judges that I can break chicken down as well as any butcher. To those of you who are still at your stations, I hope you are all up for your next challenge. Because after this, one of you will be eliminated. And guess what all of you guys are going to be working with? Any guesses? Chicken. Exactly. Our hope is that you didn't butcher things too badly. In this challenge, you will have to take your chicken and turn it into a dish worthy of this competition. There is no better test of home-cooked skills than to deal with a humble chicken. You know those breasts can go dry, those thighs can be undercooked, and it can be so bland. Trust me, we have tasted so many incredible chicken dishes across nine seasons of MasterChef. This is season 10. You need to work extra hard to wow us. Along with that chicken that you all have broken down, you will have access to the full and unbelievably stocked MasterChef pantry. And of course, our beautiful herb garden. Get creative. You are the top 18 of the best home cooks anywhere. Prove that once again tonight. I completely butchered the challenge today. Are you ready to cook the most outstanding chicken dish of your entire lives? Yes, yes chef. chef. So now I have no idea what I'm going to do. Your 45 minutes start now. Let's go, Let's go guys. Come on. Oh, crap. Your 45 minutes start now. Come on. Oh, my God. Having led my team to a loss, and now this, I really have to redeem myself. I have to prove to these judges that I am a good cook. I deserve my spot here. I need to wow them. Let's go, guys. Come on. Keep it going. Let's go. Guys, a whole chicken broken down like this is truly the culinary white canvas. Mm -hmm. You can paint anything on it. You can express yourself. That chicken is so bland. You need to bring in big, bold flavors. It is the perfect opportunity to shine. Absolutely. Seven minutes gone, 38 minutes remaining. Let's go. Oh, God, Wutz is nice handling that chicken breast yeah. kind of like all over. I'm going to use my breast that they said was a little bit on the sloppy side to show them that even with sloppy meat, you can make something amazing. Thing about living in the Bronx, sometimes you have a bad cut. 
So you make do with what you have. Right, young man. I know you're feeling pissed off. Yes, sir. However, yes, sir. that was the captain's choice. Yes, sir. What you need to do now is cook your way back up to that balcony. Yes, yes. Tell me about the dish, what are you doing? It's called Chetinad chicken. It's from the southern part of India. And it's usually uh, done with very dry spices and uh, it's cooked in the gravy. Southern India, we spent yes. three hours doing this dish. Yes. Are you mad? I have done, um, I believe that I can get this thing done. You can't fast track a curry. I will try my best to make sure that the chicken is fully cooked for you and fully flavorful. And then? And then? Place it with some finesse. Yes, yes, yes. Speed up a little bit, yes? Yes, yes. Let's Absolutely. Go. Thank you, chef. Use your time wisely, guys, OK? Let's go. The golden color on that gravy is insane. She's got everything in the bag. Comfort food is my style of cooking. So I'm going to make pan fried chicken with mashed potatoes and homemade drop biscuits with the pan gravy. My granny used to make it all the time when she was living. And that's something that's very, very dear to me. And I'm 100% sure they're going to love the taste. Hello, Kimberly. Oh, look, you got the spice rack out. I do have the whole spice rack out. What is your dish? So I'm doing a um, roasted rosemary chicken with a Mediterranean rice and a sauce. And you're just using the wings and drumsticks. That's correct. So more of the economical cut, something that you would have at a regular family dinner during the week. Correct. It this is something that I feel comfortable making. It's something that is a personal request from my friends and family. Do you think that bringing a home dish is what it's going to save you? Hopefully I can elevate the flavors enough that it will save me in this. Thanks, guys. I feel incredibly confident right now. My mother is like a master of chicken, so I'm hoping that I can channel my mother's energy to push me through this elimination round. Oh my god, this is just too stressful. Young man. Yes, sir. What's the dish? What are you doing? Just I'm doing dishes. coco van with herb roasted uh, carrots. Gotcha. So coco van is a classic French dish. Yes, sir. What inspired this dish? Uh, Julia Child. I love her. She's completely bold. She didn't care what anybody else thought. Um, and I love this recipe. It tastes like home to me. Coco van is a hard dish to pull off, but it's a chance to prove that I have everything I need and more to be a serious competitor. Like, this is the most refined. It's a French culinary classic. Yeah. 25 minutes remaining. So oh, what have you seen, Gordon? I'm really worried about Micah. Yeah. You know, Coco van. It's one of those dishes that's so iconic with traditional French yeah. cuisine. You can't mess it up because there's nowhere to hide. Here's the problem. I already saw him pour a bottle of wine into the chicken. That's going to be chicken sangria, not Coco Vanna, because he's not going to be able to burn the alcohol out of the wine. He may have time to get that done. Hurry up, Super Run! One of you is leaving the competition. That oil is about to on fire. Yeah, it is. Yep, right. I see it's that, about too. to catch on fire. Whoa! Oh! I'm making a tandoori-inspired chicken leg. Because I want to stay here, I'm going back to those flavors that I know, and this is what I feed my family. Sorry. What are we doing? I'm doing a tandoori. Stop it. <laughs> a tandoori? I am. I am. What's happening to you? I just, I like to cook Indian food. Suba! Yes, Chef? Shari's doing a tandoori. We have no tandoori oven. I don't have a tandoori at home, so... I feel like there's something missing in this competition. A little Minnesota. What other cuisines <laughs> can you cook? I grew up in the Midwest. I can cook Midwestern food. Italian I... dishes. French Italian? I can do some Italian. Inspired. I can do a bouillabaisse. Now you're talking. Everything you're doing here is a little bit of the mother-in-law. You're cooking for every time. It's not about the mother-in-law. I know. It's master chef, not master mother-in-law. Oh, it's going to be good, chef. It's going to be good. Ten minutes to go. Great move, Sarah. 